Hi, I'm Ian Cole, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a byproduct of incomplete combustion that can be found in many homes, schools, and commercial buildings. It's found in combustion gases of fuel burning appliances, in vehicle exhaust, environmental tobacco smoke, and fireplaces to name a few. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas that can be deadly at high concentrations. Well, how do you measure carbon monoxide? Can you just buy a carbon monoxide detector for $10 at the hardware store and use that? Unfortunately, those detectors will only alarm when there are high levels of carbon monoxide. The UL 2034 standard, which regulates the manufacturers of carbon monoxide detectors, actually prevents them from alarming until con concentrations are at 70 parts per million. And that's continuously for at least one to four hours. And they're allowed to alarm before one hour at some higher concentrations, such as 400 parts per million. These are extremely high concentrations, especially when you consider these are used in homes where you might find newborn infants, pregnant women, or those with cardiovascular disease. These populations are all especially susceptible to the effects of carbon monoxide. So obviously, the best way to measure carbon monoxide is not with a CO detector. Handheld digital equipment using an electrochemical sensor is the standard. These devices will be able to measure at concentrations down to one part per million. If you'd like to hire an indoor air quality consultant to evaluate your building for carbon monoxide, visit iaqa.org and click on the Find a Pro button in the upper right-hand corner.